protect them with legislation like the charter. Um, you know, right now they're targeted at one particular minority, uh, but you know, who's, who's going to be the target of that tomorrow? And so it is important that we do take a stand on those issues. And, uh, and that's what we've seen from the NDP. And that's, you know, that's one of the things that, that really distinguishes the NDP and myself from, from the Liberals and Halo Brown is that we took that stand on bills like C-51 and said from the beginning, we won't tolerate the erosion of community rights. should be. People have indicated in this country 
and they've certainly indicated to me in all the doors and neighborhoods that I've knocked on that they do want change. But the only way that we're really going to be able to overcome our fear about our suppression of rights in our economy is for us ourselves to get in there and occupy that space for change. When we defeated the austerity budget in Alberta here, one of the things that the new premier made very clear to people was that all through the election, people said, Albertans said, I want to be part of that conversation. And we need to be part of that conversation, federally and provincially. And if we're not part of that conversation, and we don't make sure that this austerity continues in Ottawa, or that it ever comes back in Alberta, then we have something to be fearful about. So why not get busy ourselves and occupy that space for change? Thank you.